In our comic Meow the Infinite, there's a character called the Prime Puss, who's supposed to have a very unsettling voice. And you can see here two panels from the comic where the main character, Valerie, is going to see this Prime Puss, and you can see that the font is actually very jagged and jittery. And of course, if you select any font you want, it's not gonna have that kind of variance in the baseline. Photoshop, in fact, allows you to vary the baseline or vary the size per character, but you have to do this manually. And since the Prime Puss has a lot of dialogue, we didn't wanna have to do this by hand every time. So what we created to do this in Photoshop automatically is a script called Prime Pussify, and we wanted to be able to release it to everyone, even though Photoshop doesn't make it particularly easy to use scripts, we figured it's better than doing it by hand. So we put it up on GitHub, and you can download and use it just by going to github.com slash cmuratory slash primepussify, or if you are reading this on our website, there should be a link directly to here. The only file you actually need is primepussify.js, and that is a script file written in JavaScript. And this script file is basically just cobbled together from some things folks figured out on the internet on how to actually set per character text attributes, which actually doesn't seem like something Adobe really wants you to do. And then a bunch of code that I wrote around it to sort of go through and randomize the elements and also provide a sort of makeshift interface for you to be able to adjust it. Now, Photoshop doesn't really let you put up an interface from a script, so it's kind of harder to use than it should be. But even so, once you get it working, it's actually pretty simple. So let me walk you through how to use it if you want to give it a shot. So like any Photoshop script, if you only want to run it once, you can just save this script to some directory. And every time you want to run it, you can actually use the file menu in Adobe Photoshop to execute it as a standalone file. But if you want to run it lots of times and you want it to be in your scripts menu by default, you actually need to copy it to a special location, which depends on which operating system you're using. So what you want to do is read the Adobe documentation on running scripts. It'll tell you how to do that if you want to do that for your particular platform. So I'm just going to assume that you've done whichever one of those you want to do and now I'll show you how to use it in Photoshop once you actually have it there. Now the way you use it is you select a text layer from your layer list and you have to actually select the text layer in the layer list. That's very important because Photoshop script execution code is not particularly good and it can get confused. So you want to pick the layer in the layer list and then go directly to execute the script from the file menu. And what happens when you execute the script is it's going to pop up this dialog box which allows you to enter in the values that are going to control how much jitter there is and what the base size and spacing for the font is itself. So the first number is the base size of the font. The second number is how much variance you want in that size per character. The next number is the spacing between letters and then the variance of that spacing. And then finally, the variance of the baseline. So you can see if we go ahead and let this run, it modifies the text exactly as you would expect. And if we're unhappy with that particular version, if we just think the randomness wasn't quite what we wanted, but the parameters are correct, we can actually just run the script again and not change the values. And then we'll just get another random version of the same values. But if we actually see that maybe there's not as much variance as we want, we can go in and modify the value that corresponds to the variance that we didn't like. So if maybe we didn't get enough baseline variance, we can go in and add more baseline variance to it. And then we can run the script again and see what the effect is with that additional variance. Now, what you'll notice is in general, assuming Photoshop is not acting buggy, it will remember the settings that you entered last time. So you can just change them or use them repeatedly without having to remember what you entered. But unfortunately, since Photoshop doesn't really let scripts pop up real UI windows, there's no other support in the script at all for being able to do things like save presets or that sort of thing. Now, in our particular configuration, we actually did modify the script a little bit and we made two scripts out of it. One that's Prime Pussify settings and one that's just Prime Pussify. And the only difference is we just went into that script and deleted the part that asks at all for the settings. And we made a second script out of that so that we could just quickly hit that once we had the settings locked in. And you're welcome to do that too. It just saves you one extra click if you want to, but that's the only difference there. So that's it, that's the entire thing, and it just really saves a lot of time if you wanna take a font that doesn't normally have any jitter in it and add jitter, this is a trivial way to do it. And even though Photoshop doesn't really make it easy to use because of the UI limitations on scripts, it still saves a ton of time.